Coming up on this episode of Aftershock, Rhea tells us about the school's improved security. And Taylor gives us an update on the new building. What's up, Cypress Bay? I'm Dylan Buckstell. And I'm Josie Clancy, and Aftershock starts now. Dylan, I've always kind of seen myself as like the cheerleader type. I don't know. I kind of disagree. Well, you may be right, but I caught up with one of the current varsity cheer captains to see what it really takes to be a part of this sport. Four tryouts, three seasons, and endless practicing has led senior Heather Dennis to where she is today, varsity cheer captain. However, her career as a cheerleader didn't begin at the Bay. I started cheering when I was 11. I cheered for Western Warriors. Um, I cheered all throughout middle school, and then once I got to high school, I cheered for Cyprus. This is my fourth year cheering for Cyprus. To become captain, Heather had to put in a vast amount of hard work and make it evident to her teammates how passionate she is about the sport. Um, a lot of work that I've had to do this, like in previous seasons, was showing that I'm really dedicated to the team. Um, commitment is like a really big part of cheer, especially being captain, just because. The girls pay attention to who and who isn't at practice, so as like when I was running for captain, I knew that I had to prove to them that I was really dedicated, like 110% committed to cheer, so that they can know that I'm always like, I'm really reliable, like I'll always be there at practice if like, they need anything, need help with anything, or just like to talk about anything. To become captain, Heather had to put in a vast amount of hard work and make it evident to her teammates how passionate she was about the sport. Um, my role as captain is basically just leading the team, making sure that they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing. Um, one thing is, like the biggest part I would say is like doing formations and stuff, making sure the girls, when we come ready for games, they need to make sure that we're ready, no jewelry on, hair is ready, uniforms ready, um, white socks, again, no jewelry. Just like the basic stuff that you just have to go over and clear up with everyone. Heather has had a profound impact on cheerleader Jessica Bernstein both on and off the field. Through cheerleading, she's our captain. She's been like a great leader. She's always there for you. She's done amazing things with this team already, so I'm really excited for the rest of the season. Um, as a friend, she's one of my best friends. Whenever I need anything, she's there for me. And she really taught me like about trust and how to treat people the right way. And Through cheer, Heather has met some of her closest friends and has formed unbreakable bonds with her teammates. As Heather's final season kicks off, she hopes to make it the best one yet. Josie Clancy, CBTV. What's up? I'm Ricky. And I'm Alex, and welcome to CBTV Pranksters. I'm going around campus with headphones in while I tell him what to say and do. Let's see how he does. Okay, go up to that girl in the red jacket with the stripes and ask to take a selfie with her. Hey, you guys want to take a selfie? With why? Because it's fun. <laughs> Let's take a selfie. So weird. Come on. Wait, what's your name? Ricky. I'm Sophia. Hi. Hi, I'm Ricky. You want to take a selfie? <laughs> Okay, now just take her phone and just start walking away. Like, don't say anything, just walk away. Okay. Awesome, thank you so much. That was so embarrassing, I was so scared. Dude, that was like, so funny, that was ridiculous. But I mean, it's okay, because next time I'm telling you what to do, so. That's all for CBTV Pranksters, thanks for watching. Yeah. Due to the tragedy at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Broward County Schools have been enforcing their security procedures. Here at Cypress Bay High School, lanyards and a single point entry have been put into action. 
Safety and security has always been a number one priority. That's always been uh, Mr. Neely's commitment since he opened up the school. If you guys didn't feel safe and secure, and when parents uh, dropped you off here at school and felt the same way, obviously that, was, uh, that would be a problem. So this has always been a philosophy at the Cyberspace. Security guards have been placed around campus to keep the students safe. Well, Landers are extremely helpful. And the reason I uh, know that is uh, not only uh, security staff being out in front of the school, but when we walk around and we see the lanyards around the neck, it's a confirmation uh, that students are here and if somebody doesn't have one, it draws immediate attention of, uh, of us and uh, we go and talk to that person and check that person out to make sure that they are a student here. So they're very, very helpful. In order to make this year successful, administrators have incorporated new sounds for each emergency code. As the year progresses, Cypress Bay High School hopes that these new rules will keep students and faculty safe. Rhea Thomas, CB-TV. College football and NFL are underway, but the most exciting thing underway is high school football. Now we're going to hand it off to Ricky and he'll show you some coverage against MacArthur. The Cypress Bay Lightning played the MacArthur Mustangs last Friday in their first preseason game. The Lightning stopped a few of the Mustangs plays and scored a touchdown that was quickly called back. Despite the Lightning's best efforts, they couldn't stop the Mustangs, allowing them to walk away with a 35-0 win. That's all we got for sports. Until next time, I'm Ethan Gare, CB TV Sports. Hey Dylan, have you ever been to France? Yeah, I went there once and I loved it. By far, one of my favorite places to visit. Well, imagine studying abroad there, because that's what senior Mariana Acosta did. And here's a Carolina with the story. Uh, the first time I went to France, I think I was about eight. We did a family trip around Europe. Uh, obviously at that age, I didn't understand much of the culture, but it was very interesting seeing a place so different from where I grew up. Mariana Acosta is currently a senior at Cypress Bay High School, but her mind has always been on other places around the United States and even around the world. I think I've had a lot of exposure to different languages and cultures when like growing up. After my experience with the, with the exchange, um, I just said, I mean, this is something that everyone should have the opportunity to do it. And uh, nowadays I still think that's like the best gift my parents gave me. So I was like, my kids are going to do it. Mariana applied for a transfer abroad program called American Field Service USA which sets up U.S. students with host families and schools for an 11-month period. Shortly after finding out she got assigned to study in Trois France, she was required to learn a new language and to get accustomed to the cultural differences that both school and home life would throw at her. My year away definitely helped me grow because I learned how I had to learn how to be more adaptable, more independent, uh, basically more of an adult almost. She, can, she had to learn how to take uh, decisions on her own and, and that your family I mean, is, is what is going to be with you forever. I think that helped her a lot. Yeah, I think this definitely helped me become closer, especially with my brothers. Uh, because there's such an age gap between us, there's not a lot of things that we have in common. But this is one, so that definitely helped me become closer to them, as well as my mom, because this was something I truly could only talk to her about since my dad hadn't experienced it. Now being a year since she left, Mariana takes time to reflect on how this experience helped her grow and inspiring others to take the same leap by helping them apply to study abroad. Carolina Rapp, CB TV. Hey Josie, did you know that administration is planning on constructing a new building? No way, that's such a good idea because some of my classes now are just so jam-packed. Here's Taylor to tell us all about the new building in the works. Cypress Bay is the largest public high school in Florida, being home to over 4,700 students. Originally, the bay was only supposed to house 3,200 students. To fix this overcrowding issue, a few portables were put in in 2016, but the bay is planning on a more permanent change. We've been waiting on this new building for quite some time now, so uh, we've been promised for the last couple of years 
but uh, the, le the last uh, time frame with regards to breaking ground is uh, second semester. This building will be put in the center of the courtyard in the shape of a lightning bolt and will be replacing 61 portable classrooms. Like I'm actually pretty excited for it. Like there's more chances of classes, more classes, there might be new classes. It's cool because uh, the portables, and the, like the they're not in that pretty good shape, so the, the new building will be like a, a good for, for the students. Like a new, a new architecture, a new place for students to hang out, so it's better for them. While the courtyard is a common place for lunchgoers, students will still be able to enjoy eating lunch outside once this building is put into place. And there actually is an open, air, open area underneath the building, so we're going to be able to accommodate a lot of students at lunch. And the plan right now with regards to the Cheeky Huts is just to relocate them. This new building has been in the works for four years and will finally break ground in 2019. Taylor Fishman, CBTV. That's all for this episode of Aftershock. If you want to watch previous episodes, you can visit CypressBayTV.com. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter at CypressBayCBTV. I'm Dylan Buxdale. And I'm Josie Clancy. Thanks for watching.